Welcome to the video on GIGI camera interface. While a 100 base T Ethernet connection was used for some machine vision, its bandwidth limitation, less than 100 megabits per second, was a limitation. With the advent of a 1000 base T or gigabit Ethernet, Ethernet reached a speed that became practical for use with machine vision. A big attraction to GIGI vision was that it eliminated the need for a frame grabber. Computers came equipped with the necessary port. Since Ethernet is a network connection, it became possible to connect many cameras to one computer by using hubs or switches. While it is possible to connect cameras to processors over a local network shared by the enterprise, this is usually avoided. Depending on network traffic, it can significantly extend the time to transfer the image from the camera to the processor. Because development of the GIGI Vision standard was almost coincident with the development of GeniCam, GeniCam is required by GIGI Vision. That means that all cameras and software meeting the GIGI Vision specification must support GeniCam. As the name implies, GIGI or 1000 base T is capable of transmitting 1 billion bits per second or 125 million bytes per second. However, because of the way Ethernet works, the actual image data bandwidth cannot reach this limit. Ethernet sends data in a series of packets. A packet consists of some amount of actual data with other network information placed before and after the data. After transmitting the packet, the sending device, a camera in our case, waits for a response or handshake from the receiver. The handshake confirms the packet was received and whether or not the data was corrupted. If a packet is not acknowledged or if the data in the packet was corrupted, the camera needs to resend the packet until it is successfully received before sending additional packets. So while actual speed cannot be guaranteed, reliability of validated transmission is assured. If there are multiple devices sending data simultaneously on the network, they have the potential to interfere. This damages the data packets and causes retransmission of the data. For this reason, GIGI Vision is usually used in a dedicated single connection or a dedicated and very limited network. The achievable bandwidth for GIGI Vision is between 80 to 100 megabytes per second. One very attractive feature of GIGI Vision is the cable length. GIGI works reliably with cables up to 100 meters. Many machine vision installations of GIGI Vision use standard CAT6 or CAT7 cables with RJ45 plugs as shown. For installations requiring even greater reliability, GIGI Vision offers a version of the RJ45 connector that has jack screws for even greater reliability at the camera end. To use the jack screws, the camera must be designed to accommodate them. The early version of the GIGI specification did not provide for powering the camera over the Ethernet cable. Because supplying power over the same cable as data simplifies system wiring, this became an optional feature with the introduction of GIGI Vision specification version 2.0. Today most but not all cameras support either power over Ethernet or PoE as well as power supplied through an external connector. Some cameras, still widely used, do not facilitate power over Ethernet. Since most computer Ethernet ports do not provide power, it is necessary to either use an injector or Ethernet switch to provide the camera power. Here are the important takeaways for you as a potential user of GIGI Vision. A very popular camera interface standard. There are many cameras available for use. Does not require a frame grabber. Allows very long cable length. 
may not be a good choice for very high speed or where reliable real-time performance is needed. Now you know about Gig e Vision. You should go to the next video and learn about the USB 3.0 Vision Interface Standard.